Ooh, and we've unlocked the time reversal in the Brescia Ruins. That's a good way to start off on this episode. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII 2. Well, last time we started to do our business here in the Brescia Ruins and figure out uh, all the different bounty hunts that we need to do. And when we ended the last episode, we needed to find a couple passwords. And the guide mentioned something about the Yachas Masif. So, let's go ahead and get rocking and rolling on that. Okay, so let's find the Yachas Masif. I always think it's easier to do it this way. And we're going to start, too, with the 100 AF. Time and memory, frozen in crystal. Oh yeah, we've already seen that. Okay, so I'll meet you here in the Yacht Chest Massif, and then we'll get going. Alright, it's been a while since we've been here in the Yacht Chest Massif, but that's alright. Okay, we need to make our way up to, let's see... We need to make our way back all the way up to the village, um, the Padrian Apocalypse. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the Padrian Archaeopolis. Yeah, so we need to make our way up there. Uh, let's see how we do against some of the enemies in this area now that we're managing to... Now that we're much, much, much stronger than we were the last time we were here. Let's see if we'll get to face off against any Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, Bunker Beast. Let's see how we do against Bunker Beast here. Yeah, we're even able to take him out pretty darn quickly. Look at this. Stagger him pretty quick, and then off we go to the race. Yeah. Isn't it fun to just kick the crap out of old monsters, you know? There's just something about it that just gives you a lot of personal satisfaction, especially like the Chi Chi monster. Man, it's destroying that. There you go. Haha. <laughs> good job, everybody. Good job. <laughs> the mushroom on his head is hilarious. All right, very good. Okay, well, I'll meet you back in the uh, in the main village there, uh, and then we will. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I've made it here, and now we're up in this area in the northeastern part of the map there, and this is where we talk to Hope and Alyssa for the first time. There's a woman here that th that can help us out. This is interesting. If we get our hands on the password of the control unit, we might be able to solve the disturbance within the ruins fairly quickly. It's unfortunate. Mr. Thorne was the only one who knew the password. And now he's disappeared inside the paradox. I don't know if he's dead, but I doubt we'll ever see him again. Hmm. Well, he's disappeared into a paradox. Where have we been? Or uh, what? Where does... Or where have we been where a paradox might happen? In a different time period, perhaps. Hmm. Okay, now we're here at the uh, Yachas Massif 110 AF. And what we want to do is we want to head down this way. Whee! Jump all the way down here. And by doing that, heading all the way down here, hmm, there seems to be a man down here. He looks like he's trot, and Mog seems to sense something. So let's see what Mog can find. Aha! We found somebody. Am I? Where am I? Why can't I remember anything? Oh, if only, if only I could remember my name. Oh, we gotta help him figure out his name, eh? Well, we happened to talk to a woman that said that he had disappeared in the eye in the uh, area three years ago. But I seem to can't remember his name. I think it was maybe Horn. I don't know. That doesn't seem to ring a bell. No, that's not it. That's not my name. Nuts. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So yeah, we learned earlier that his name was Thorn. So let's let's give him the answer there. Yes, that's it. My name is Thorn. I remember everything. I was investigating the ruins with my colleagues, and suddenly I felt someone push me into the paradox, and somehow it absorbed me. I see. She told you my name, did she? I'm relieved to hear that they're still working as hard as ever, even after I'm gone. It's good to know I taught them well. I think I understand the situation. So you're trying to find the password for the control unit in order to resolve the paradox in the ruins, is that it? Well, I'm as good as dead, so the key to solving the paradox is no help to me. Here, take it. I've written down the password. Maybe you can save everyone. 
thanks to my amazing leadership, we finally found the first password, Kubo. If we find the other one, we'll be well on our way to solving the case, Kubo. And when we do, the government will give us oodles of gill and I can buy whatever my little heart desires, Kubo. The hell did that come from, Mog? Do I need to get my hearing checked? Or did he really say that he was pushed into the paradox? Does that mean someone... someone tried to kill him? We should be careful. Come on. We need to go find that other password. I think there might be clues in the ruins of the future. Yeah, I hope so. Let's go find them. Ruins of the future, eh? I only know of one set of ruins that happens to be in the future. And the only other ruins in the future happen to be the Brescia Ruins here in 300 AF. And I've made my way to the area where the Atlas controls are. So let's talk to this guy and see if maybe he can give us some information. The whole place is talking about you guys. From what I hear, you're pretty good for a couple of newcomers. Talk to me. I can be convinced into letting you handle the device. Okay. All right, all right. You seem to have at least some knowledge of it. It's not publicly known that it requires passwords to unlock. Okie dokie. Go ahead and take a look if you want. What exactly do we say to him, though? I mean, how can we understand? I, I don't quite get it. Like, I, I wanted to be able to persuade him somehow. Okay, well, let's examine this thing and see what we can figure out. Huh? Hey! What the hell did we go? Dude, am I gonna have to fight somebody now? I mean, I'm certainly ready. But... Oh, no! It's hidden in the labyrinth? That makes sense to me. That explains why we couldn't seem to find it anywhere. Dang it! I gotta do more of this crap again? Oh, I hate these stupid temporal rift things. Okay, let's see. Um, like this here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take that one. Here and here. And hopefully it'll go back, go back, go back, go back. Thank you. And we're done. Whew. That one was tricky. Okay, let's try this one again. Let's try the next one. And now we're gonna wanna go here. Okay, let's see here. I'll just see we'll grab that. This. Okay, now let me make sure I get this right. Okay, now I'm gonna go here. There. Uh oh. No, dang it, I messed this up. Shoot. Okay, let me try that one again. Okay, let's try that one again. Okay, so we want to go up here, and over here, and grab this one, and grab this, and grab this one, and over here. And this last part's tricky. You wait for the crystal to be over there. There we go. Got it. Whew. That one's tough. Okay, now it starts to get fun. Okay. Okay. You know what? I don't think I mapped this out very well. Oh, no, I messed this up. Dang it. Okay, let's try this one again. I'm gonna go up here, and then up here, and then down this way, here, and there, and like that. No, wait. No! Burn. Okay, let's try that one again. I know what I need to do now. Because I want to grab this one, and then come around like this. There we go. And then grab those ones. There we go. And up here, which 
wait a second. Grab that one, and we're done. Woo! There we go. Sorry, this took me like six tries to figure out that one, but then we're all good. Ooh, that took a lot longer than it should than it probably should have. Oh well. What the hell is up with Mog? When did he become such a money hungry little bastard? Like, wow, holy cow. Okay, well, let's grab the fragment items here. We've got the control device password one, so we'll check this out. There's 100 AF. There's the second one. Paradox to enhance lockdown security. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so let's return to, let's see. We want to return to Pressure Ruins 100 AF and then and uh, turn in the thing there. So I'll take care of that and be right back. Okay, we've made it back here to 100 AF, so let's talk to this guy. You've obtained both of the passwords? Well, let's try them out and see if they're the real deal. The good news is the passwords were correct, but now we're faced with a new mystery, this paradox. It seems it was created by people. In 20 AF, someone tampered with the control unit, which looks to be the cause of this entire situation. The culprit was responsible for the monster population increase and for taking out those who knew the passwords. I believe that a group that opposed the Academy's ideals used the paradox for their own gain. They tried to destroy the institution once and for all. To this day, we're still in the dark as to who was behind this operation and why. You two were a great help in solving this tough situation. As a government representative, I'd like to offer you some compensation for your trouble. Well, at least I get a fragment and some and some money out of it, but... But who the heck would do this to us? It's kind of weird. Maybe he has a little bit more information for us. Whoa! What the... What is that thing? I don't know. Go and find out what it is. If it turns out to be a dangerous monster, make sure to destroy it on the spot. Damn it! Well, apparently a new monster has... Uh, has emerged there. Kalavinka. Alright, let's do it. I thought the paradox had been dealt with. So what's this big ugly guy doing here? He was hiding in the void beyond, Kubo. When the portal was closed, he was trapped in this world, and now there's no way back home, Kubo. If we don't defeat this monster, then who knows what'll happen to Cocoon? Come on, Noel. Mog, you too! No, Sarah, we're just gonna leave Mog here to rot. Of course he's gonna come with us. Silly Sarah. Tricks are for kids. Okay, um... All right, let's see what we got here. Well, we finished off Bounty Hunter Surprise, that's good. Yeah, so apparently, uh... Hmm, there it is. So it's like a real paradox from another world. Okay, well we gotta go try and stop this thing. We're doing pretty good on our fragments there. All right, now what we wanna do is, yeah, we need to go and defeat Kalavinka. He happens to be right there. So. Let's head on over there. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you. I'll just meet you back over there. I'll make my way over there. And then once we're ready to go, we will um, take him on. Okay, we've made it back here and there's the monster, Kalavinka. So, don't really need to worry about a setup too much. If you've been following along with my guide, you should be more than leveled enough, leveled up enough in order to take this guy out. So, let's just take him right on. Uh, let's get ready to go. They don't even give us boss battle music. They just up the tempo. But it is time for a boss battle. 
against the Kalavinka. All right, let's go. Okay, now watch out for this. is his only attack that really is kind of annoying. Is is his ooh? Is that Hellstorm Bolt? And that can be that can do some damage. So if that happens to you, get a quick round of healing in. Okay, so we get Sarah back up to a good amount of HP. All right, and then we want to basically just try and stagger this guy as quickly as possible. And if you ever want to, if you do feel like you can't handle it and want to get a synergist going to try and give you some, some buffs, that's totally fine. And apparently he employs a, a powerful lightning based attack, so that's not good. But that's okay, we'll be able to stagger him pretty quick. Ooh, all right, good. All right, now let's just go all out. And again, he should, down, he should go down pretty quickly. I'll probably be able to defeat him in this, in this round here. And if Sarah goes down, it actually might be okay. Look at my damage with these guys. I will take it down real quick. There you go! Woohoo! Got him! Man, that think it was four and a half minutes, almost four and a half minutes. I beat him in less than a minute. Let me get some potent orbs, that's nice. And for defeating feeding him, we'll get. Ooh, an artifact. <sighs> I can't believe a man-made machine could bring forth such a terrible monster. And the paradox, too. That was caused by humans as well, wasn't it? Monsters don't kill people. People kill people. Does that sound about right? <laughs> Truer words were never spoken, Kubo. People are much more scary than monsters, Kubo. We risked our lives to solve the case, Kubo. And how does the government pay us? Not with Gil, but bits and bobs and household goods, Kubo. No one needs ten years' worth of toilet paper, Kubo. No one! I had no choice but to decline their offer. The government is evil, Kubo! Humans are evil, Kubo! Dang, Mog. Chill out. Hey, we get a toilet paper coupon. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's really funny. Okay, so what we need to do now, I think, it, I don't know if you got that message or BC Universe that said my uh, computer or my battery or my controller is low. Oh well. Okay, now what we want to do is let's re return back to the Historia Crux. There's a few more fragments that I want to get before we end up the episode today. And then talk about what we're going to do next. Is I want to start by heading back to, uh, where is it? Academia 400 AF. Oh, and turn in some maps here. So I'll just uh, we, and if and if things going are going the way that I should, uh, we should be able to drop us off right here at Academia. Yeah, see, unfortunately, unfortunately, it just drops you off right here, so you don't even have to worry about uh, dealing with any of that crap again. Data from the Brescia ruins. Excellent. Thank you. And we get the travel guide to the Brescia ruins. Very good. And we should be able to drop off three maps. This details maps. the area of New Bodum. Fantastic. And we get the travel guide to New Bodum, and there should be one more that we can get. I'm not familiar with this area. I'll cross-reference with our other files. Yeah, we get the dying world that does that. Very good. Okay. Now, oops. Let's see. I should have. How many fragments do we have? 145. Okay, I think that sounds right. Because um, there's a couple more that I want to pick up uh, before we're done here. And there's the Kalavinka. Whew, that's dangerous. Thankful for small mercies, indeed. And academic reward. Uh, explore maps here. We're not quite done with that yet. And the beast area, we're not quite done with that yet. Now there's one more academic reward that we can get, and that's for academia. But we'll, we'll do that once we're done with the next area. Okay, very good. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is, let's see, uh, yes, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is, this is all I really can do for, well, wait, did I get all the fragments? Oh, fragments that I miss. Oh, these, oh, these travel guys, whoops. And there's New Bodum. A fatally delicious dish of deadly whitefish. Mm. And the Brescia Ruins. There we go. And we 
and read all about the brush of ruins. Okay. okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go make my way back to Serendipity and I'm gonna pick up the last, uh, there are three more fragments that I can get in Serendipity. Two that you, pr and it all requires money to do. Uh, two that you purchase and one through getting, um, through doing some gambling there. So I'm gonna go and defeat Yomi a few times in order to get enough money uh, to, to get everything done in Serendipity. Pick those up, pick those fragments up, and then from that point, we will go on and we will finish the game. But what dangers await us in the final area of the game? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.